All right, we're up in the garage at the same home as we are with the pool deck here in Porto Sima, Lake of the Ozarks. This is the new equipment. Got myself a new pulse back 1150. It definitely sucks in a good way. Got this beast right here, right here, 17,500E. Um, uh, well, that thing really puts out some power. <laughs> But that's what it takes, because you need the kind of power that it takes to run this beast right here. This is uh, my new uh, floor grinder. It's a Warrior Crusader 2204. And it is just ripping right through the epoxy that's on this garage floor. I still have to go back over it one more time with a different set of PCDs to clean it up because it's still a little patchy, but it's ripped it off pretty good. And that's what the uh, PCDs that are on there right now are designed for. So um, it's taking this stuff off right here. It's just a uh, tan epoxy. Garage floor's in good shape, but um, you know, we want to do some, the owner wants to do some vinyl chips. So he wants to do more than just a one color epoxy. And I don't know how many years ago this was done, but it's down pretty good. Whoever did it did a good job. Um, but yeah, the new homeowner is just changing things up and wants something different. So we're gonna come in here with some uh, vinyl chips, white, black, tan, and a, I believe a dark chocolate as well. Should look pretty good when we're done, but we're kind of working back and forth between the pool deck below because it's about 2,300 square feet, and this garage floor, it's right at about 800 square feet. So that's where we're at right now. All right, we got everything cleaned up, prepped up. Everything's chipped. Right now we're ready for the top coat of urethane. This will be our first coat. Everything is looking clean, tight, ready to go. I'm gonna put a little shine on it with this first coat. And the second coat will uh, definitely lock everything down and put even more of a shine on it. There's a drain right here, but it's kind of camouflaged. I'm gonna have to drill out, looks like one hole. Other than that, it's good to go. And there's a drain over here. Kind of hard to tell what the color is from a distance and a certain angle. So I'll give you a little bit more of a close up, go a little slower so you can see the color chips. Dark chocolate, tan, black and white. One of my most popular color combinations. You know, it just goes with everything. So, sell a lot of these. But there's a hundred different co color combinations you could go with. Um, but this seems to be a really popular one. We're gonna get to see one.
All right, this uh, three-car garage in Puerto Chima is now complete. And if you guys are watching this on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel if you like the videos. And if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that like button below. And leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the video. Look, let me know what you think of the work. And uh, also below the video in the description is my website and some other links for more information as well. Uh, pretty much my whole social media is down below. See you guys on the next project. Thanks.